So here, here you have my Windows desktop. I'm going to start the Type VNC viewer. Logging into the Raspberry Pi. Now it's not really big enough for me because I like to see a bit more. All right, so this is basically a Raspberry Pi desktop logged into through via Type VNC on a Windows 7 computer. So I'm going to show you something just to prove it can do the same sort of stuff that you could if you were logged in directly. This is the Fuse Spectrum emulator. So I'm going to load. I'm going to load up Chucky Egg. It's a bit difficult to see, but in a moment I'm going to make the screen bigger. Click on this plus to make the whole lot bigger. Right, now I need to load that up. I've got the speakers plugged in as well to the Pi. So right, what I need to do is redefine the keys as soon as it will let me. Ah, oh, to redefine the keys. And S to start. One player just wanted me. I used to love this game. Okay, you get the idea. make it smaller again you can just go like that. So that was playing a game using Windows computer. In a moment I'll show you how to do a similar thing using my Android phone. I'm going to show you how to use type VNC log into the Raspberry Pi using my Android phone. So this is my Samsung Galaxy S2. I'll do my best to keep my fingers out of the way. Here we've got the app here. Don't worry about that message. Right now we just I've already plugged everything in so I just have to press connect. And there you've got a picture of your Raspberry Pi desktop. So what I'm gonna do is click on that one. and open. That's the Python games package, part of Debian Wheezy distro. Leave the sound as it is. It's not as easy to navigate around. There are ways of making the screen bigger. So what I'm going to do is have a, as you see it's not perfect using a touch interface, it's quite hit or miss. But for something like what I'm planning to do, which is have a little game of reversey, I need to make that smaller again. So I can see it all, I choose to be black, and the computer's started my turn. For some reason I don't quite understand, playing this game is faster through Android than it is using Windows 7. I'm sure some clever person could explain that to me. Maybe the client for Android's a bit that was a bad move, but the computer didn't spot it. How stupid was that? 
I usually thrash it, but it has beaten me just once when I was having a weak moment. Okay, so you get the idea. We can close that anytime you want, as long as you can actually hit the X without moving your phone. As you can see, it's the touch interface makes it a bit tricky. If you've had enough, you can just press disconnect and it will throw you out. So it is possible to log in and use a GUI through Android with type VNC server running on the Raspberry Pi and Android VNC running on Android. Thank you for watching. This has been raspi.tv.